short term is clearly to me irrelevant in the sense that what happens in these events is the big dogs manipulate in the short run right they they know that they can buy up assets in advance they can then short against it and they and they do all kinds of arbitrage and etf arbitrage is why ken griffin and others like him are so wealthy right i mean they benefit the market makers benefit extraordinarily and the prop trading desks on wall street and all these people scalp shall we say it's like when when you think you're trading for free on Robinhood, you're just not right you're you're paying way more than the old days of high commission rates in the sense of you're losing on execution and your order flow is being sold to the rich guys and then if you watch the movie which is a great movie i mean it was so good dumb money which is so good they can just turn it off Recent studies have shed light on the intricate methods that were currently being utilized. In order to influence investing decisions, market manipulators employ a range of strategies, such as spreading misinformation on the internet and generating hype about stocks that are overvalued. This manipulation not only offers advantages to a select few, but it also brings to light deficiencies in the functioning of our financial institutions. The observations that Mark Yusko has regarding the exploitation of powerful people in the banking industry are echoed by these disclosures. As we get further insight into these discoveries, it becomes increasingly clear that the most effective protection against such deception is to maintain a state of awareness and vigilance. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a like before we delve any further into this subject. Because of your support, we are able to continue to provide you with the essential information that you require in order to successfully navigate the intricate cryptocurrency and financial markets. The presumption that all of the money... All right, we've spoken about all of the many opportunities. According to estimates derived from 30 billion investors, the captive investor base in these brokerage operations that has not been permitted to participate is approximately $30 trillion, which is equivalent to 1%. The market would be impacted as a result. To be more specific, we have witnessed around one-third of that and a little more than 10 have come this way, but not on the first day. I would say that 0.1 is a number that is unintelligent. I am confident that it will be 1%, which is equivalent to $300 billion. But what we observed was that a significant number of the major ones yelled out, Oh, no, 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 no. Even though this exchange-traded fund at WAMTAS has been approved by BlackRock or Fidelity, we will not permit you to purchase it with your own money. Someone then spoke the words, I'm outright, I'll simply go and go somewhere else. But I think they'll change their minds and that money will continue to flow in right now, every day. We'll see how long it lasts, but I think it will last for a very long time. I'll just leave and go somewhere else. Approximately three times the total number of Bitcoins that are minted each day are purchased by the ETF complex. Our socks are currently on... However, they will only be on for the next three months. Within the next three months, that number will reach 450, down from 900. In the event that the current rate continues, I believe that it is fairly possible, considering that you indicated six times the daily production, this suggests that there is an imbalance between supply and demand, which will lead to an increase in pricing. The phrase rising prices lead to increased prices has been repeated so many times that it has become a cliché. It is natural for people to be pulled to an asset as it starts to move. It is how it operates, and it will cause us to rise past the fair value and into crazy heights at some point during the collapse of the cryptocurrency market, which will begin in June. In addition, I believe that in a year we will be talking about, oh my god, how did we get to the point where Bitcoin is worth triple digits? When exactly will the bear market begin to play out? The reason for this is that there will be another bear market, because the fear of missing out FOMO gets incredibly high when an asset like NVIDIA begins to go parabolic. That is to say, Tesla came before. What I mean is that NVIDIA is a fantastic thing to witness right now. The United States of America is currently seeing a greater amount of passive money than active money. In what way does this imply? We have a greater number of passive investments, such as index funds and exchange-traded funds. It is important to note 
that passive does not indicate passive. The other day I stated this in a tweet. During the past 20 years, only 31% of publicly traded enterprises have managed to survive. Take into consideration 69% of them have disappeared. Therefore, turnover is something that can occur with these indexes. Simply put, it is slow. On the other hand, they are capitalization weighted, which implies that an increase in price will need them to purchase more. As time goes on, they become increasingly focused. During the year 2000, we were present for this event. People wake up and say, oh, that's bad. This happens when you reach a point where it is ridiculous, such as when Cisco is valued at 286 times its earnings. On top of that, you have a correction, and thus, here we are once more. All of these businesses are currently trading at a multiple of 100 to 150 times their earnings and 30 to 40 times their revenue. Moreover, they respond by saying, no, no, it's different this time. These are the four words that carry the biggest danger when it comes to investing, and there will be a conclusion to it. You may, however, make an effort to shorten the insanity, as we had discussed with MicroStrategy in the year 2000. In addition, MicroStrategy in the year 2000 is quite distinct from NVIDIA. Rather than NVIDIA, it is more about Cisco and Microsoft. To a perfect degree, alternatively, Intel. There was a 20-fold rise for Intel. Give it some thought. Due to the fact that it was going to change the world with artificial intelligence, it surged by a factor of 20 in just four years. Funny, isn't it? The topic of artificial intelligence was being discussed somewhere around the year 2000. Since then, it has decreased by 40%. In addition, I just listened to the CEO of NVIDIA talk about how the fundamental structure of computers is undergoing a transformation. The initiative is being taken by us. These are wonderful. Individuals that are modest braggers are admirable to me. That is to say, he has a very low spoken volume. In addition, we are the only business that is aware of this principle. Is that true? Is that true? Are you of the opinion that your organization is the only one in the world that is aware that we are currently in the process of undergoing a computer transformation? Okay, that's all right. Several of the companies that I am familiar with would disagree with that. But if you are unable to meet the expectations of a world, you will be brought down. So I couldn't agree with you more. In fact, we have statistics pertaining to this. In other words, the volatility is decreasing. However, it looks to be inverted on my screen. I am unable to complete it. It's making my head spin so much. However, volatility at the time when Bitcoin was initially conceived as a scientific endeavor, its value was in the triple digits. In other words, there was no there there. Depending on the situation, it might be anything from one cent to two cents. It is a total and utter move. The volatility of the market, on the other hand, has lessened as the market has expanded in size and maturity. In the long run, it is comparable to being in your 40s, but in the short term, you are closer to 65 or 7. However, we are going to proceed in a downward direction. The passive holders are responsible for this. A component of that is the hodlers. The exchange-traded fund, on the other hand, is now organized as a passive holding. In addition, leverage is reduced because of this. There is less room for speculation or leverage. A greater amount of leverage will be available there will be a return of leverage. On the other hand, there is a less quantity than before. Therefore, I wholeheartedly concur with that. However, the question of whether one should be passive or active is a challenging one. There is a correlation between the amount of passive there is and the amount of supply that is reduced, which is comparable to a supply shock. And that percentage of 3% is probably not accurate. This does not mean that the 